Hey guys! Today I am back with part two of my Candy Johnson for Sinful Colors review. If you want to see part one, I will link it in the description box, so make sure you check that out. So I found my polishes at Walgreens for $2.99. All of them, in fact, were $2.99. They come with a sticker that says Candy Johnson for Sinful Colors, and I would say that the cap is like a gunmetal type of color. Be careful with these because I accidentally dripped acetone on mine and it actually took off the finish. So there's that. Just wanted to throw that in there for you guys. First one is Dripping in Pearls. This is a pearl polish. It has a very strong gold sheen. I tried to get this opaque in three coats. I think it was on the verge of being in there, uh, but I could still see my nail lined. Next up is Pink Sickle. This is a pink pearly polish. I tried to get it opaque in three coats. It didn't quite cover my nail line. I could still see it faintly. The formula was great. Next is Digital Dreams. This is an iridescent glitter in a clear base. The glitter is multiple sizes. I tried to get this opaque. It does not work, but I just wanted to test it out. The base on this is really thick. Think Sesh Vite. Uh, I would just keep it as a topper at one coat or maybe sponge it on. This is Candy Pink. This is very, very similar to Digital Dreams. This one just has a pink base. I would say that you don't need both of them. In fact, I would just stick with Digital Dreams because it has a clear base and it won't add a pink tint to the polish that you are wearing. Next up is Flip Tease. This is a mint green. It has some shimmer in there. I will say that although you can see on the nail, I would not consider this a shimmer polish. This is more blue tinted than mint chip from the Vintage Matte collection. I don't think that either one replaces the other so if you wanted both they're not dupes. The formula on this one was a little bit thin but I was still able to get it opaque in two coats. Next up is Kiss Goodnight. That is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. When I saw this in the store it reminded me so much of Essie's Bikini Sotini because it's that pale 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 blue and it had shimmer in it but I did compare them and Bikini Sotini is actually a tad bit darker. I would not consider this a shimmer polish. The formula on this one was a little bit thin but I was still able to get it opaque in two coats. Next up is Mermaid Tail. This is a green to blue duo chrome. The formula on this was amazing. I was able to get it opaque in just two coats but I think if you want a stronger shift I would apply three. Although the formula the application is amazing the brush strokes still show up. This one is Blueberry Hot Rod. I would consider this a foil polish. It has blue and pink in there. I really like it. Kind of gives off a purple tint sometimes. The formula on this was a little bit thin. It was quite sheer so I applied three coats and I think it turned out opaque. I think this is very beautiful. It kind of glows on your nails. This one is Spoonful of Sugar. This is a glitter top coat with multiple sized glitter. Um, this reminded me instantly of a cut above. So much so that I actually compared the two as you can see and I couldn't really tell the difference. A, a cut above in the bottle does have a more warm golden tint to it whereas this one is much darker I would say but on the nail really they don't look any different. I will say though that the Sinful Colors has a better formula. This one, it's quite, has quite a bit of base. You know what I'm saying? You get a lot of base with a little bit of glitter. This one has more glitter and I would actually recommend this one over Essie's. On to the holographics. This one is Urban Magic. This is a holographic glitter top coat. I was actually expecting this to be opaque in one or two coats, um, but it's not. The base in here is quite thick. Again, Sesh Vite. I would say that if you have China Glaze's Fairy Dust or one of those holographic glitter top coats, you don't necessarily need this one. This one is Rock Candy. This is very, very reminiscent of Urban Magic, in fact, so much so that I think that this one just has a bit of a purple base to it. I would say that if you only want to pick one of them, I would just go with Urban Magic because it has a clear base, but you know, if you're a nail polish addict, you get two. Next up is Heart of Gold. This is a gold glitter top coat with holographic glitter in there as well. The base in here is just the same as the other glitter top coats. A little bit thick. I tried getting this opaque in three coats. I would just stick to using it as a glitter top coat. I don't really think that any of these are unique in the nail polish community. If you are a nail polish collector, you probably have polishes that are similar to these in your collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If there is another nail polish collection that you want to hear my thoughts on, please let me know in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye!